ano, current liabilities. So on December 31, 2020, yung um, Gutierrez Company, meron silang following information. We have to classify kung alin dito ang current liabilities. First, we have accounts payable, including deposits and advances from customer of 250,000 pesos. So, ang total niya is 1,250,000. Current or non-current? Current siya. So, it is an unearned income. Next, we have notes payable, including note payable to bank due on December 31, 2022 of 500,000 pesos. The total is 1.5 million. First, we have to deduct 500,000 pesos because it is an uncurrent part or non-current portion dahil 2022 pa siya babayaran. Ang current portion natin ay 1 million. So we have the share dividend payable as said kanina, ba? Ito ay ano? Part ng equity. So ignore. Next we have the credit balances in customer's account. This is utang. This is a liability. So current liability 200,000. So add natin siya. Then we have the serial bonds payable in semi-annual installment. Ibig sabihin, serial, series mo siyang binabayaran. Semi-annual, ibig sabihin dalawang beses sa isang taon ang iyong pagbabayad ng 500,000 pesos. So, 5 million ang total. Hindi natin yung papansinin. We have to focus doon sa semi-annual installment niya na short term lang. So, dalawang beses sa isang taon, we have 1 million. Add natin yun. Then we have the accrued interest on bonds. This is current. Add natin siya. 150,000. And then the contested BIR tax assessment. Possible obligation. Sabi, possible obligation lang siya. So we have um, to ignore this only. Then we have unearned rent income. Current siya. Include natin siya. So we'll have the total of current liabilities on December 31, 2020 of 3.7 million. And if we're about to compete our non-current, no, we have 4.5 million pesos. Next, we have another problem. Amazing company provided the following information on December 31, 2020. We have the notes payable, the trade, the bank loans, the advances from officers. We have... Um, and 3 million, 2 million, and 500,000. Are we going to include all of them? Yes. Because they are ayan, considered as current since the date is not mentioned, but they are part of the ano, normal operating ano, ng business. Normal operating liabilities. Ganyan. Then we have accounts payable on trade, 4 million. Add natin to. Bank overdraft, we have mentioned this kanina sa mga examples ng ating current liability. So, include natin siya. How much is the overdraft? We have 300,000 utang. Then, we have dividends payable. Dividends payable, uh, our professor said, sabi, if not mentioned whether cash or shares, we have to assume that it is a cash dividend. So, we have 1 million add. Then, we have also withholding tax payable. Tax uh, Payables, they are always part of the current liability. So yes, add natin siya 100,000 pesos. We have mortgage payable, non-current to. No, remember mortgage payables, bonds, they are non-current. But sa bonds, pwede kasing serial, di ba? Pwedeng maging current ang ilang portions niya. Basta focus tayo doon sa concept. Then, we have income tax payable again. This will be included, 800,000. We have estimated warranty liability. Yes, this is a current liability. Then, we have estimated damages payable by reason of the breach of the contract. Yes, 700,000. Then, we have accrued liab, 900,000. Include. Then, estimated premium liability. So, mga premiums, no? Kasama siya sa ating current liabilities. And then, we have the claim for the increase. Claim, palang, so no, ignore na agad. Then contract entered into for the construction of the building. Nag enter ka lang ng contract, wala pa namang nangyayari. Wala ka pang ano, past event, wala ka pang obligation. Meron ka ng obligation, di ba, na magbigay ng service, pero wala ka pang utang talaga. It is not yet a liability. So it's 5 million, so no. 
So we have a total uh, current liabilities on December 31, 2020. If you uh, had the same answer, it is 14,100,000 pesos. And for our non-current, kung i-compute natin, we have 3.8 million pesos.